Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a August and September haul because basically I just bought everything that you could possibly buy with money. So here we go. The first thing I'm going to show you is what I got as a graduation present from my father. The first thing I got was this little treasure right there. This is, if you don't know, if you're not a Harry Potter fan, this is the Time Turner from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Hermione gets it um, to help her with all the classes that she gets over the years. I'm not going to get it out because I don't want to wreck it, but you can see it. It's not that difficult. And it is one of the Noble Collection. My next item is again part of my graduation present. This was pretty big when I got this. Um, I'll show an unboxing in the video somewhere, probably about here. My Hermione Granger wand. So, this is it. so it's got like a vine design if you didn't know because she has a vine wand. It's longer than it is in the book because in the book it's 10 and 3 quarter inches. This is clearly not 10 and 3 quarter inches. This is actually 13 inches. In the book, it's a dragon heart string vine wand. I don't know if it's springy or not springy, but it doesn't look springy. So I won't say it's springy, I say it's, I don't know what the other one is. But yeah, this is the Hermione Ranger wand. That's exciting. The next set of things that I'm going to show you is everything that I bought from Portaventura, which was the holiday we went to, as you've seen in our recent vlog videos. When you go around the park, there's music playing in the background and there was one particular song, I don't know if you saw it on the part 2 video, um, but me and Natasha knew it instantly, like, we didn't eat, like, Natasha had been there before but she'd never heard the song before and I'd never heard the song before and before that I was like quite bored, I was like, oh, I don't really know if this holiday is going to be any good, like, because I'm such a huge fan of Butlins. I was having a month before just like really bad withdrawal. I was like, everywhere I walked, if I smelled something that smelled like butlings, I'd be like, oh, it smells like butlings. When we actually got there, I was just like, oh, I don't know what to think. Like, it doesn't feel like holiday. But the moment this song came on, like literally I was just like, oh, this is gonna be cool. Like they've got music playing. It sort of reminded me of Disneyland when you had the parades and you have like the music playing on top. So that cheered me up. So by the end of the holiday, I wanted to purchase this, which is the Port Aventura album. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the song on it that we were singing to because that's actually an old song and they were just playing it on the park. So I was a bit upset about that, but um, I have found a way that I can buy it off the internet. So I'm gonna buy the, the song on its own. It says 20 because it's the 20th anniversary of the park this year. Um, but yeah, this is pretty good. I love it. So. The next thing that I bought from Port Aventura you would have seen in Katie's video, she bought the Winnie t-shirt and I, as a child, like, I used to watch Woody Woodpecker all the time. Like, it used to be one of my favourite TV programmes when I came home from school, I was just, like, turning on. My mum used to hate it because of the noise that Woody Woodpecker makes. I absolutely loved him and, of course, like, he's... Like, he's the only thing that you can't really go to a park and see. Like, I know he's in Universal, but we've never been to America. But, um, I didn't know in Spain that he's, like, the mascot for Port Aventura until we watched a video, um, on YouTube. So I was a bit excited about that. So I bought this t-shirt. All the other t-shirts that they had, he was, like, quite angry on it. And I was just like, I don't want an angry... It's like, it's like Donald Duck as well. Like, my favourite, besides Minnie Mouse, is Donald Duck. And... Everything that advertises Donald Duck is always him when he's like angry. And I was just like, I don't want him when he's angry. Like he's cute when he's happy. So yeah, so this is the closest thing they had to um, him being happy. He's a bit confused, but that's basically my life, so. <laughs> Next thing I bought was actually um, a half present between me and my dad. Usually when we go to um, holiday resorts, we like to buy cuddly toys of like the sponsor. So from Butlins we bought a Billy Butlins bear and I really wanted to get a Woody Woodpecker, like it was on my list, it would be the first thing that I was going to purchase. It was going to be a definite purchase. A little Woody Woodpecker toy. He's so cute. Look at you. You know you want him. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, he's really cute and I love him and yeah. He stays in our lounge with Billy. So Billy's got a best friend now, so it's 
Okay. The next thing I'm going to show you is what I recently bought um, because I've been needing it for ages. Me and my sister and my mum went to town to, to buy it. Oh no, it's a lie. Katie went to town to buy it. <laughs> After I received my graduation presents, I went clothes shopping with my mum. I really needed some new pair of pyjamas because the last lot I'd had, I'd had since I was 13 and they were getting really short on me. So I bought some new pyjamas. I got this. It's made of polyester and it's aqua coloured. They're really soft, as I say, like I keep saying that, but they are, they're just really soft. The reason I bought it was one, because they were blue, and blue's one of my favourite colours, and also because my mum says that she's just gonna cuddle up to me and stroke me. So I'm going to be a little cat. Now, my sister has always had these sheep pyjamas that I've always wanted. She had a uh, grey pair with white and pink dots on, and sheep. And I've always wanted one because I, I just found them really cute. And the closest thing we found was these. They're pink and they're really cute. Uh, let me find a sheep. There we go. Wait. That's upside down. There we go. So. Primal. <laughs> Not self advertising. No. Um, but yeah, and I think they're made there, 100% cotton. It's actually got a sticker on there. I should have had a sticker on the other one. It's lame. I'm not happy Primark. So for ages now, I've been needing a makeup bag because my original makeup bag, which is this one, is so small. Like, nothing can fit in it. Like, it's, it's like, it's so small. So, I need a new one because it was so horrible to carry around, like all my makeup, I was just like, I need all this stuff, but I can't fit in. And I've been dying for a Zoella bag, like my sister's. And I was just like, oh, I need one. And I was like, I don't know which one to get though, because um, I really liked that one, but Katie bought it first. So I was like, oh, which one do I want? And then I was watching a Zoella videos. I think it was, it was her and her brother and she was talking about her guinea pigs and she showed them again. I was just like, oh, her guinea pigs are so cute. Like, I really love guinea pigs. So I bought the one with the guinea pig on it. And it's so cute. It just, it just suits my personality, I think. So I was like, okay, I'll get it. Because it's cute. And it's pink. I'm not, like, I'm not a huge fan of pink. But I do like it in the, like, certain, certain lights. And I just think the colour scheme works really well for the bag as well. So I was just like, I've got to get it. And as you can hear, look, listen to that. How did that fit in that other bag? I don't care. Next thing I purchased, again, is part of the Zoella range. When I was in the bath once, I didn't have any face scrub. And I get, I get, not loads of acne, but I get a couple, a couple of spots. And so I used my sister's one without asking her. And it was really good. I was like, oh, it's so good. Like, I need this because she's, she's not going to let me use it week on week or she's going to be like Where's it all gone? Like I'm really good at like doing it so she can't tell that I've used it but eventually the level would probably go down and she'd probably kill me so I bought it myself so it's this one it's the Zoella body scrub and yeah it's really good um, I would also recommend this is really bad because I've purchased it but <laughs> <laughs> I'd also recommend this one as well but I will get that. <laughs> As you know, me and my sister are huge fans of Harry Potter, like huge fans. And one night I was talking to my dad about it. I was like, I have um, <laughs> the Harry Potter uh, film guide, I think. I can't remember the title of it. Um, but it's incomplete because unfortunately my sister bought it as a Christmas present before the second, before part two came out because I thought part two was in the book but then when I looked at it I was like oh crap it's not in there so I didn't have part two I only have films one to part one and it's just like oh. why? and so I was telling my dad and when he said that he bought me a present I thought that he bought me that book but the way he did it he was like he was like speaking really sternly he was like so uh, this, this book that I'm about to show is a very expensive book and I actually got it for a cheap price so if this book gets wrecked then it's going to be a lot more expensive to replace. I was like, I was getting all worried, I was like, oh no, what's he bought now? So, because I knew from then it wasn't the book that I was thinking it was because it's not that expensive 
um, compared to this. Now, I, I think, without my sister giving me horrible, evil stares or harsh comments, but I think I'm the bigger Harry Potter fan when, we, when it comes to the films. But my dad bought me this and it's so good, it's so big, and it's so heavy. This book, right here. And it's called Page to Screen. And it just goes through <laughs> all of like how they got it. Let me find a good page that's got like a lot of, ooh, this is a good one. <laughs> right, so this is like how they did Albus Dumbledore's um, clothes and stuff, I think for the first film. Um, but yeah, and it goes through like the different characters as well, like there's a part on um, Hermione. Uh, this one's, I love this doodle, this is such a good doodle picture. <laughs> That's so good. And yeah, it just like, it just, it's not all pictures, this is really bad, I'm just showing you. The page that I'm reading at the moment. Ugh. So, yeah. And, I don't know if you can see it in the light, actually you can, yeah. Where's it gone? There you go, can you see that page? Look how cool that is. It's got like three broomsticks. Do you get it? Three broomsticks? Do you get it? <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's just so good. I just can't wait to read it. That's how far I am. I've literally only read one chapter. <laughs> That's literally the first chapter that I've read because I've been reading other stuff as well. It's a perfect like thing to have, especially before I'm going to the Harry Potter studios because it just means I can just read about it before I go and then be like, Hermione Granger just go, oh, look at that. That's from da 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 da. So, I treat myself, and I don't do this a lot, I know that <laughs> probably doesn't look like I do, but um, um, I don't treat myself a lot to clothes because I have certain things that I need to be saving up for. Um, I have a clothes stash money, which my mum keeps, so I don't overspend it or anything. And we went into town yesterday and I was just like, oh, I really need a jumper. So we looked everywhere for a jumper. We saw some really nice ones, took photos to remember, but they were all a bit out of my price range. By the end of it, I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna have to buy a t-shirt that I really like. And even in the line, I was like, uh, I don't wanna buy it, like, it's too much, like, I don't want to. Um, but I did, Kate was just like, No, you're gonna buy it, you're gonna treat yourself. So I was like, this is it. And it's Mickey Mouse. Oh, that's funny. One of the sponsors is Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> it's made out of polyester, like my pajamas were. So yeah, I love it. It's cute. And it's mine. The next thing, again, was a guilty buy because I've been needing some makeup and lipstick. Um, every time I asked my sister for nude li lipstick, she didn't have any. So I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna buy some nude lipstick because I want nude lipstick. We went into the store and I went immediately over to the Little Mix collection because I'm a huge fan of Little Mix. Been since X Factor. And I was like, oh, I really, I really want something of theirs. I looked at all the collection, I was just like, who do I want? And I was just like, I really like Jade and Perry, so I think I'm gonna get something of Jade and Perry's. So I bought Perry's. Neil Warnish. I was going to get Perry's lipstick, because originally I was gonna buy the two nail varnishes, but Kate was like, by them in a set. The only one they had was this this one that someone had like damaged. It looked like a tester, but it wasn't a tester. It was definitely one you could buy. And I was like, no. We went to one of the staff and we're like, do you have any of Perry's lipstick? And she went over and she pulled the drawer out and she picked up and I was like, she has it. But then she was like, no, we only have Jade's. Even though it wasn't Perry, something leaked in here. I was just like, I was just so happy, I was just like, okay, that's fine, I'll take it. So I got Jade's. And you know that by the bow. It's, it's an amazing colour. I think it suits me. So yeah, it's that colour. It's absolutely amazing. I was so happy, I was just like, oh, it's fine, I'll take... Sorry, that was way too close. It's fine, I'll take Jade's because I absolutely love Jade, as I just said. 
Jade. Oh, she is, she's, oh, she's amazing. Um, so yeah, so I bought Jade's lipstick and Perry's nail varnish and I'm wearing it now, so. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you have got something out of it. I hope I'm not just rambling on boringly to you all, but you're just like. <sighs> I hope you have a great week. I absolutely love you all. You're amazing. I'm so thankful for you watching our videos because it means a lot. Right, thanks for watching these videos. My ding guys. No, don't don't call yourself ding guys. Um, don't forget. No, what was that? <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Let us know what you think of this video. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Have a great week. Bye. Oh, you're videoing? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, crap. You didn't tell me that. Oh. Hi. <laughs> um, I did a clothes shopping with my mum. I went clothes shopping with my mum. <laughs> um, right. So, oops. Do I want to get in on the conversation? So, yesterday, in fact, I bought these. Um... No, I didn't. That's a lie. <laughs> okay, I need one. I have a Harry Potter, um, the making of book. Sorry, I think you say I have a Harry Potter obsession. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> Did you know? No, um, Carry on. I keep putting in. Uh, that book's not expensive. It's only like twenty-four pound or something. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to this, so you say it's not that expensive. I think you can't see. It's too big. It's too heavy. You can't expect. Wait, let me. Oh wait, no. Page. Whoa. <laughs> <sighs> okay. We went into town tomorrow. Yeah, yesterday. We went into town today. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> no. Um. Um. I was it. I I looked at all the collection. I was like, okay, I know who. I know what I want to. <laughs> this has been happening for weeks on end. This is our fire alarm, guys. Our house is burning. Um. So we went back to Superdrug. Okay! We went back to Superdrug and the only one they had, which was the one that I... <laughs> You're not gonna get through this. Yeah, so this is it. Oh, hi dad. Water. If you liked this video, I hope that you'll give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. <laughs> oh, yeah? Will we'll do. Subscribe. And don't forget to comment below. The accent's changed.